CC at all times when I'm on the air, and I just got a message. So, uh, Tyler, we have to restart the whole show, the frig. You can make fusion, you hit hydrogen atoms with a ton of force, smash them together. That's what you do when you say, you come here. And then they turn into helium, I think, which releases the heat and energy. But the problem is, you have to do so much of this. And then a lot of times you get And now, a handle on the news. Ladies and gentlemen, nine years, not no handle. Everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. That's an app where if you can't catch a KFI show live, you can catch up with it through the on-demand function. Good morning, it's the Bill Handel Show. Bill is on vacation. Wayne Resnick sitting in. Jennifer Jones Lee is here. Good morning. Blake, good morning, Wayne. And Tyler is here. Good morning, sir. Hey, Wayne, good morning. And the producer of the program is, of course, here, Alex. Alex Zinnemann. No more damage for you. Good morning, Wayne. Uh, all right. On the news sponsored and brought to you by the great Lemon Law experts at Night Law. That I'm making oh, right okay. now. Okay. But but I think it's rooted in truth. Fun stat. Okay. Since the inception of the Los Angeles City Council in uh, Lincoln, whatever it was, <laughs> until the year 2022. So through 2021. That entire period of time, there have been exactly seven F-bombs dropped in the city council chambers over time. Okay. Various reasons. In the year 2022, the first nine months of the year 2022, no F-bombs. Since October 1, 2022, there have been 877 F-bombs dropped in the city council chambers. We've seen a big rise, is what you're saying. That's an F we got an F-bomb spike going on. <laughs> because this guy, because this F-bomb guy is there. This man says the protesters are going to show up as long as Kevin DeLeon does. Every Tuesday, every Wednesday, and every Friday uh, until he resigns. There's no place for open, overt reasons on the, on the city council. I know, we have to break, so listen, let's, let's get some news from you, Jen, but keep that thought and keep that audio clip available, please. Okay. Can we do that? Sure. All right, we'll continue with Handle on the News, KFI AM 640 Live Everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. been uh, medicated, medicated, medically evaluated, and they think possibly that P-22 was hit by the car. P-22 is apparently very malnourished, and it, it seems to be heading towards a euthanization of P-22, which I guess is better than P-22 continuing to be miserable and suffer out there. But it's not, nobody, nobody's happy ever to report this kind of information. No, I think that um, one, I mean, he's never going to be a return to the wild. That's the obvious thing. No, the other option is maybe they can get him in enough shape they can go to a sanctuary. Yeah, and they're giving him fluids with vitamins in them, antibiotics, anti-inflammatories. I mean, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife knows P-22 is so symbolic. More than 200% of normal for Woo! this time of year because, you know, some storms went through the Sierra Nevada mountains and dumped a lot of snow on... Monday, it was 223% of normal. Still at 213% of normal yesterday. 
One year ago today, by comparison, the statewide snowpack was at 22% of normal. Holy canola. So we are in a completely different situation right now, and that's excellent. Is it enough to say the drought is over, particularly long-term considerations? No. Is it good news? Yes. I would We're gonna put all of these tires in the racks. Let's go. All of them are right here.
All right, all that is done. is done now it's paperwork time the best part
left the yeah, house. I know we haven't lived together for 30 years, but I still know a thing. Yeah, so I, I understand uh, what that feels like, and I'm going to stop doing it to you. Because I know I they don't know stuff that I don't know about. I don't think you're going to stop. I still think there are times where you'll go, How did you know that? <laughs> All right, it's time for Swamp Watch. No swamp is horrible. The government doesn't work. Oh, man. We make this like a, a reality TV show. Swamp Watch was a bad suit. Always oh, like me anywhere in Washington, D.C. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. <laughs> The biggest news in D.C. today came out of the uh, Fed Reserve and D.J. Jerome Powell. Although job vacancies have moved below their highs, and the pace of job gains have slowed from earlier in the year, the labor market continues to be out of balance. Trump for the lowest recorded in Wall Street Journal polling dating back to November of 21. So, uh, not good news. The second poll in as many days to show the Republicans appear to be turning away from Donald Trump towards Ron DeSantis. The Secretary of State in Georgia, speaking of Donald Trump, just because they've had their times against each other, the Secretary of State in Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, today is calling on the state legislature there in Georgia to eliminate runoff voting during its session next year. Of course, we've seen uh, the Raphael Warnock, uh, Herschel Walker runoff caused, I mean, I, I don't want to say it caused the issue. It definitely caused issues for the elections workers in the counties that had to put on the, uh, the another election, basically. But in terms of money, it's probably not bad for the state of Georgia to have an election runoff. But what he said in his statement was, it puts significant pressure on our elections officials. We need to focus on certifying and auditing the election results. What I didn't realize was, it was a, was it last year?